folks. It's the program. It is Friday, June 5th. I'm Robbie Coates. This is episode number two. Yesterday's episode number one went over uh, overtime quite a bit. We had almost an hour. Didn't even think we would be able to do it, but we could have gone on forever. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, our intention today is to do two 20-minute segments. Uh, the second half is going to be a Zoom uh, meeting again. Uh, with contribution from all of the program members, including our sound and, uh, sound engineer, Sam Baker, also known as the Moose. Uh, folks, there's so much going on in 24 hours. Uh, we should have just kept the mic on uh, after we ended uh, because there's so much to catch up on. Folks, there's lawlessness across the country. Lawlessness. People who are protesting because because of lawlessness are engaged in and advocating for lawlessness. Ladies and gentlemen, did you know that the mayor of Minneapolis, or no, not the mayor, let's, let's see, the city council in Minneapolis, Minnesota, something like this, the folks, they're actually talking about in chambers about uh, doing away with the police force entirely. So what then? No police? No, of course not. You can't, I mean, who's going to enforce the law? Well, ladies and gentlemen, Enter Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter is a terrorist organization. That's right, I said it. They are engaged in complete lawlessness, ladies and gentlemen. We have inside information that in Kansas City, in the plaza downtown, a place where I've spent a lot of time as a kid, uh, a very nice place to go, not a place that I ever didn't feel safe. Black Lives Matter, we have inside information from someone in the uh, Kansas City Police Department uh, who will remain unnamed, and uh, this is just uh, things that he has heard through the department, but uh, he says that every single police force in Kansas City is mobilized and heading down to the plaza in riot gear, uh, including academy, the, including academy cadets have been mobilized. Okay, that's how serious this is, because Black Lives Matter, uh, we hear, is there uh, creating cells of, of individuals, armed individuals, to try to replace the police department. You know, they have the movement to defund the police, um, and Kansas City... Uh, we are hearing that the FBI is involved, uh, the intelligence agencies out there, uh, that they are actually, Black Lives Matter is actually forming cells to patrol the streets armed. Ladies and gentlemen, you want to know why people feel safe in this country? The police are not the problem entirely. Look, we have problem police. We do. We really do. I think that the problem is bigger than most of my peers, I think, but I do not think that it is systemic. It is not <sighs> to bond, ladies and gentlemen. You want to know why people feel safe? It's because we know that there aren't individual or, or, or there, there, there aren't individual organizations. I know that sounds like a oxymoron. There aren't these private organizations, these random these pop-up organizations that just decide to get together and patrol the streets and enforce law. What law? Did they go to law school? You know, did, what did they go? Did they all attend the police academy as? Uh, what did they? Did they audit uh, police academy courses? Were they uh, brought in on some kind of joint uh, training program or something like that, and then deputized? You know, what, are they, what the fuck do they know what the law is, ladies and gentlemen? I often think that the cops don't know what the law is. Okay, my problem is with, gen look, I've I've been I've been involved with uh, undesirable situations with police officers. Nothing criminal, but I've had to deal with them. I know what they can be like. I know that they're human beings, and that they are certainly capable of making mistakes. They're certainly capable of having attitudes, opinions. They're human. So my problem is on a case by case basis. But this idea of abolishing the police force is suicide. It is mass suicide. And look, this is not this is not 
a shared opinion among the American public, I mean, at large. These people control the media, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, you have to wake up to the propaganda machine. There is no such thing as news. I don't care what channel you're watching. What is on the news? Turn it on. What is it? You know what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not that big. It doesn't deserve that big a spotlight. What do you watch the news for? You watch the news because you want to find out what's going on in the world, right? That's what you expect from the news. What an incredibly easy way to manipulate people if you can control the news. You can actually make them think that something is going on in the world that isn't or something is perceived a way that isn't or anything. You can make up stories and put them on the news. And it's plain as day that anyone, almost anyone will believe you. Almost anyone will believe them. Uh, hey, let's uh, harken back to uh, that uh, famous War of the Worlds broadcast in the 40s. Or was it earlier? Anyway, folks, if you know your history even a little bit, you know that just a story on the radio had people convinced that aliens were coming. And you know what? I swear to God, now that I hear myself say that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if, I swear to you, I would not be surprised. I don't want to say I'm making this prediction, but it wouldn't shock me in the least if after coronavirus, after these deadly, 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 deadly riots called protests by the news, after this, they're going to they're going to tell us aliens have landed, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, I don't mean that, that I'm making a prediction. I'm saying that it wouldn't shock me at all. And it wouldn't shock me. I mean, it would make me very sad. But the way things are going, I wouldn't be surprised if the vast majority of everyone believed it. You want to know why? Because scientists would agree. These are aliens from another world. It's nothing... Like we've ever seen before. We'd never see pictures of them either, you know. Or we'd never get to meet them ourselves, you know. Maybe we'd see. I guess they can do whatever they want, ladies and gentlemen. They can do whatever they want. Look, this is all incredibly fancifully hypothetical. My point is they're capable of manipulating you to that kind of degree. Most of you. It's plain as day that it's it's so painfully obvious that so much of the country, so much of the world is just comatose, just asleep. I mean, you guys are waking up. I think more and more of you are awake every day, and it you know it grows exponentially because the claims become so outrageous. You know, maybe the next one will be aliens <laughs> to try and scare you to stay home. This is all because they hate Donald Trump, because Donald Trump is destroying a system of government that exists beneath the one that you think you know. Something you're not even aware of. Look, ladies and gentlemen, it's plain as day also that m most everyone, even people in government, don't even have any idea how government works. People just think government is just a powerful thing with resources and capability. And that if you get in a job in government, that you are just powerful. You just have some kind of power over the average, ordinary, simpleton, citizen, the ordinary dummy in America. That's the attitude that they have. Listen, I uh, <laughs> I call people stupid a lot. But the difference between me and them is I don't want you to be. God damn it, I wish you'd wake up. And these people want you to remain asleep. Who's George Floyd? Who protesting knows this man is affected by the... Who protests, period? Like in general, who's a protester? I've never been to a protest. I've been upset about things. I've, I've talked on, you know, once or twice, I think uh, maybe once, maybe during this coronavirus stuff, I thought about it. But you know what? And this is kind of unrelated. It's a different kind of protest. You shouldn't be, pro who's, 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 who, what, 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 you idiots out there protesting for your rights have got it all wrong. You have your rights. God damn it. If you have to protest for them, if you have to beg for them back, they aren't rights. They're privileges, privileges, they're allowances, they're. You're just monkeys in a cage. 
And they will never be rights again. Frankly, ladies and gentlemen, they will never be rights. Never again. Unless, unless, if and only if you take them. I mean, I might find a little better way to articulate that, but it kind of, that kind of has to happen. That's what, you know, that's the only, that's what makes them rights. Rights are not given to you by humans. They're not given to you by institutions. You have them. They're yours. Do you honestly feel, are you, you're totally okay with having some institution made out of other humans tell you how to run the particulars of your life? That's not what laws are for. That's not what government is for, ladies and gentlemen, not in America. The only reason government exists in America as far as you know, laws governing, governing its citizens uh, is concerned is to ensure that all of the citizens' rights are protected. It's to ensure that I don't infringe on, uh, you know, basically you, you can do whatever you want as long as you don't infringe on my right to do whatever I want. And that necessarily blanketly covers things like murder. That's a pretty big infringement on my right to do whatever I want, vice versa. But you're going to tell me I can't get a haircut? You're going to tell businesses, people, things that people have built their entire lives to shut down? Folks, I am looking at videos on YouTube of kids fucking goddamn, goddamn fucking stupid little fucking little kids who are in charge of the Internet. This is easy to deduce on Reddit, at least to the threads that I participate in. Um, it's very apparent on Reddit. Reddit is made up entirely of 16-year-olds, like 99 Point nine on to infinitum percent. 16-year-olds. Guaranteed. You know, nobody says how old they are, but they, that's, that's who's... So, and so, people reading it, I, I, I presume that people read things on the internet, they just assume that they're being written by people of a similar age, you know, unless it's painfully obvious. I don't mean to ramble, ladies and gentlemen, but the Internet is not representative. Even, you know, Twitter, Facebook, they control the narrative. Uh, you can talk about something else if you want. You know, it's such a liberating experience to delete your Facebook account. Uh, I did it for over a year. A very hard habit to get back into. Uh, then coronavirus happens, and then you just kind of have to force yourself to do it again. You have to fight the censorship. But there needs to be another way. Uh, and to that end... I know that this is just one, I feel like a pinball bouncing around thought to thought here, but uh, we at the program are all getting uh, Gab accounts. Uh, you can follow me at Robbie Coates, R-O-B-B-Y-C-O-A-T-S. And there's nothing up there but my name currently, but we will have an official program Gab account because Facebook censors me, ladies and gentlemen, left and right since coronavirus. What, uh, what reason do I have to deceive you? What reason do I have to do any of this? I was doing other things. Everyone was doing other things, ladies and gentlemen. I, 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 before coronavirus happened, I wasn't sitting around thinking, man, I can't wait for coronavirus to come. This new virus, I can't wait for some new virus to come shut down the planet so I can have a podcast. No. I was busy. I'm upset. Okay? And now all this is happening. Ladies and gentlemen, go back to your lives. Go back to your lives before they're gone, before they're destroyed by people like Black Lives Matter. People like Black Lives Matter who are going to pretend to be the police with guns. Isn't that fucking scary? Isn't that the scariest goddamn thing you've ever heard in your life? Ladies and gentlemen, if you think I'm a racist, I think you're a fucking idiot. I think you're a fucking moron. I think you have a walnut for a brain. Folks, I know the walnut kind of looks like a brain, but it is not a suitable replacement. Okay? Black lives do matter. All lives matter equally. Every life is a miracle. A miracle. Every life, every mind peering out from behind a pair of eyes is a universe. An entire cosmos in and of itself. That's what you destroy when you destroy another human being. It does not matter what color your skin is. Now, these Black Lives Matter TM, the organization, has co-opted this, this platform, this movement. And now they use race as a pretense for 
domineering control by one group of human beings over another. I cannot believe what I'm seeing on YouTube. These, can you believe? I mean, hundreds of people, maybe thousands collectively, of white folks kneeling in crowds before a handful of black folks with microphones, standing up there proud with their arms crossed, some of them crying. It's all very bizarre, very interesting. Uh, <laughs> Folks, they're using race as a facade, as a pretense. They, look, it's one group of human beings bowing before another. It's what it is. It's what it is. It is. When I say people are universes, I mean that's how grand they are. That's what is behind your eyes. That's what the mind is. It is a whole cosmos in and of itself. The mind is the mystery, ladies and gentlemen, not the stars and the planets and the origins of all this stuff. It's what are you? What are you? What are you? What is it that sees from behind your eyes? You're not a camera. Cameras don't see. Cameras take pictures and then you see. Then you look at the pictures. What is it to see? What is it to be? The world is just totally, uh, f you know, natural to you. I can, the, the, the word I want escapes me. But you're jaded to it. Okay, bodies, hands, fingers, planets, stars, galaxies. What is this place, ladies and gentlemen? What are you? It's very important. It's not a trivial uh, philosophical question. And people don't think enough about it, and that's why we have so many problems. Look, the, the soul is the mystery, ladies and gentlemen. What are you? And at every turn, now... This is where I tend to, this is where people tend, some people, groups tend to jump off, but you have to open your mind a little bit. Not so open that your brain falls out. But there, it is government and the people with these extreme left wing collectivist agendas that try to suppress the idea of the soul. They don't want you to think that you are anything special because to them, and in order for their world to function the way that they want it to, you just have to be part of the mass. That's why they locked everyone down for coronavirus. Okay? Because you're just part of the mass. Your life doesn't matter. Only the mass matters. But, folks, we are not a mass. We are individuals. Only you can live your life only you. When you wake up in the morning, it's you. When you go to sleep at night, it's you. When you die, it was all you. It was just you. And that's what everyone is. Everyone is a me. Everyone is a you. Everyone has an individual, a life. Hopes, ambitions, desires, feelings. And a very limited time. And in America, th folks, this happens other places in the world, but America is the great experiment. Look, I can't believe anyone wants to destroy America. It's that's there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get the I just can't ramble all day long. Twenty minutes. I, I I could. I mean I could. I could, but I shouldn't. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for part two of the program. It'll be here in just a flash. We'll have the rest of the program team. Um, I think we're going to have Victrix. Maybe we'll have Moose today. Uh, Twigs and Mr. Anonymous out in West Hollywood. We'll see what's going on. Is that... Uh... What are you doing, Victor? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for me to come in live. I want to be smiling. Gotcha. Well, you come in live whenever you talk, man. It's an automatic video switcher, so. Oh, really? <clears throat> yeah, it's not me doing it. Hey, Rob, it's good to be on the show, man. It's good to have you here, Victor. It's good to be back from yesterday. It looks like we have uh, Mr. Anonymous joining from 
West Hollywood, California, where things are a shitstorm. Uh, and there is a uh, shit in the streets. You got that right. Mr. Oh, Anonymous, how Anonymous. are you? How you guys doing? It's Friday. It is Friday. Is it how well, can you distinguish a Friday from a Wednesday out in California right now? <laughs> no, but but what I what I will tell you guys, it's a bit eerie out here in Los Angeles today. Uh, very it's quiet, I'd say almost too quiet. Really? You mean no rioting, no explosions, no did everyone get no tired explosions. of it? I, I, to be honest with you guys, I think a lot of people jump town. I think I, you know, the neighbors have left. I think it's just enough. In fact, I'm going to tomorrow go look at some spaces to rent that are similar in price of mine out of the city. Yeah, I'm astonished that more people haven't already. It's time to take your money somewhere else, dude. If this is how it's going to be, you can't even. Yeah, I was, I was wondering what you're still doing there. (laughs) Well, well, you know what I'm going to do is, you know, I could rent out by the beach for the same price I'm renting here why would I rent in a community that literally can't protect me like can't yeah. do it now are you talking out What's by the, the beach in California still or somewhere else yeah 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 in California I mean I got to be in LA to work but you know if I got to make a 30 mile drive I'll do it if I means I'm going to be in a safe community I can keep my family safe I mean what the hell 30 miles in LA is like nine hours right that's about an hour yeah. Uh, oh, really? An hour? Okay. Well, yeah. yeah. I've never this. But the you traffic. know what? <laughs> but if it but if it means my pharmacy can't get burned down, I'll make the drive, right, Vic? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, Absolutely. we got the twigs uh, coming in live from yeah. his bunker. Wow. With that setup, twigs. I'm 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 getting there. I'm getting there. You missed it. You missed it earlier, Mister uh, Mister Anonymous. I had my Antifa get up all ready to rock and roll. Oh, I thought that's what we I thought that's what we were doing. We're gonna yeah, go. he's headed yeah, he to came uh, in with a mask Gordon on like a, to raise hell. <laughs> hey, once we start, I want to know what's going on in Punta Gorda. Yeah, I was thinking well, it's raining right now. It is it happens to be yeah. pouring rain right it now. Is. So I think the protest is canceled. I don't yeah, think any I of those seen, I haven't seen any violence or heard of any violence in Sarasota or Charlotte County yet. Um, I thought I heard of some violence in Sarasota. Uh, I, it's there's so much going on. I just can't remember off the top of my head what it was, though, or even if it's true or not. I'd correct it. Could be. Don't uh, quote me on that. If it if it was, and it, it must it could it was have, small it had, minor have been significant. Yeah, yeah, minor. Well, the one in Punta Gorda, Florida, is from six to eight p.m. tonight. Okay. So this rainstorm is yeah. probably going to go gonna away. Check on a, uh, can you Four, silence 40? on please, Victor, for the broadcast? Thank you very yes, much. Yes, sir. I'm turning it off now. Uh, you don't have to turn it off. The phone is a valuable resource. Uh, it's just a radio faux pas, you know. So is uh, dead air. If any, you know, you guys can just hum yep. for fuck's sake if you want. Just no, no dead air. <laughs> so uh, Mr. whistling Dixie. Yeah, exactly. Did you guys have a chance to listen to the monologue? I did. I got through about ten minutes of it, and I thought you did a great job. Okay, so uh, do you have any thoughts on anything in the monologue? Um, The rest of it was mostly about, uh, um, well, I think the beginning was Black Lives Matter. Listen, you sell well thought out. You sell well spoken. That should be something people download every day, you know, like to get the news. It it sounds so good. Well, uh, it's... There is no news, so Robbie, you know maybe I could contribute. Rob, Robbie's thoughts, you know, come up with a name for it, you know, add it yeah. to the whole show, but come up, but come up with a little thing that's like just your deal, you know, like, I mean, Robbie's thoughts. Oh, no, that's kind of what I the mean, monologue like was. That. But I know, I mean, I don't know what you want to call it, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you could put yeah. something together like that, like come up with something where it's like, all right, you know, like that'll be, you know, people do that all the time, you know, like even though they're going to hear it in the whole show, like that's your little thing, you know. Yeah, well, I fully anticipate each one of us is probably going to do something like that. We'll have our own individual things. I, oh, I'm going to be doing my own monologues. Yeah. This is a whole out. network. Yeah. Welcome to the WERB yeah. network, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Yeah. I mean, that's why I'm I'm planting the seed with this illegal patriot thing. Yeah, this is this is the program from, that you're listening to from now, this. folks. Uh, so, like, yeah. yeah, it's just like, you know, InfoWars, The Blaze, they all yeah. have their own deals, but at the end of the day, they're one. <laughs> yeah, and it's yeah like, exactly, we're exactly. We're going to be under one roof. doing shows yeah, we're doing shows together, but you know, I could do a little five-minute thing just to help promote with the next sure. show that we've got coming up. 
You know what I mean? I hope like, you do, twigs, man. Like twigs. That. I don't know where hey, you're twigs, man. You don't. Listen, you man, I'm saying. thinking uh, there's going to be certain days of the week where you guys can catch Twig's monologue. There's going to be certain days where you can catch mine. Yep. And then also Mr. Anonymous will be doing them from his bunker in Hollywood. I'd love and to. Believe me, he needs a bunker right now. And yeah, um, yeah. you'll be able to hey. catch all of us. And, of course, you know, the host, he'll, he'll be on there almost daily. Well, I guess yeah, we are editing, happen. aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> well, just remember – it was about oh, he's Mr. Anonymous. People. It doesn't matter. There was four thousand people that night. I th this isn't a. Uh, is this this isn't for the show? Uh, okay. What the fuck we'll, are we doing here? Let's skip over this. Show. Let's skip over this for now. All you're right, you're, right, you're right. giving me an editing nightmare. Yes, yes, yes. Did, yes. This will be more right. of a radio transmission. Uh, yeah. Will, right, Can you guys here. silence your phones, please? This has turned into a train wreck all of a sudden. Okay, here we go, guys. <laughs> We're we're back in five, four, three, two, yes. one. Yes, thank you. Well, Victor, I'd like I'm gonna let you take it from there, from that bird. Sounds important. Well, Got Rob, something. I appreciate that. It's good to have Mr. Anonymous here. Uh thank you, Twigs. Also, well, it looks like folks, we have a uh some some breaking news. We have a, a Black Lives Matters rally here in Punta Gorda, Florida. You know, we're hearing stuff like there's bricks being discovered down there out of nowhere. And actually, what's going on here? You, County you, heard, you heard about it. Right. Yeah, the, the Charlotte, Charlotte County, County they, 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 they put something out and said that that was uh, uh, fake news. Um, they said that those were part of a, uh, a beautification project down there. They already had some papers and they showed a, oh. a section of the sidewalk that was unfinished that they were working on. And, you know, this is an this is a construction area down here that you know the only industries down here are construction and food so yeah well yeah, I'll tell you there there whether it's for a sidewalk or what we do have a pile of bricks right by the protest so right well but, but either now way we have a protest what we're what we're mostly worried about at this protest is uh you know, people getting on their knees and saying these uh, these ritual sayings about how they're going to surrender to uh, black people. And, yeah, you know, almost like we're going to be slaves uh, to black people. Exactly. I, nobody should. We shouldn't Just have 4,000 people. Yeah, we shouldn't have 4,000 people on their, their knees uh, repeating stuff that some 20 year olds blaring out in a microphone exactly where did this stuff come from this is not this is not something that was half of these people trying to rewrite the laws and history don't even have jobs they they never had a job these are 20 year olds they just hate everything so uh, and, you know uh, twigs you know what are you saying no i was just gonna say i mean i I have that video here. Do you want me to share the screen and, and play that little 30 yeah, second yeah, clip? Yeah, please. Uh, I mean, could you please? Please do. Because this is astonishing to me. I want to make the comment that, folks, you know, uh, uh, from the beginning of this, I have been making projections about what would happen, what the states of mind, uh, uh, what, what states of mind people would be in, uh, what they'd be doing collectively. Look, I understand panic, okay, because I have uh, followed the stock market for many years. Uh, there's nothing I love more practically than uh, uh, watching charts evolve live tick by tick. And I've been doing that for over a decade, uh, uh, 15 years. I don't know. Geez. Um, so I, 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 the stock market is nothing more than mass psychology. It is simply uh, uh, herd uh, psychology, herd mentality. And I, I know what panic looks like, looks like when it evolves. I know how far it goes. Uh, uh, there's rebounds, there's a second dip, there's uh, recovery. Uh, it's amazing. And the, you know, the universe tends to, ex tends to exhibit so many, so many fractal qualities. Uh, but the, the same, the same patterns that you see in uh, a stock chart, I swear to you, you can attribute to anything going on in the news that has to do with the crowd that has to do with society at large. And I saw this panic spreading across the globe. I just knew it was coming. I saw it. I tried. That's why I tried warning everyone. Everyone called me crazy. I said there were going to be lockdowns here. I said the yeah, National Guard was going to be deployed. And I said that, I said that, I said that was going to happen here when Rome went on lockdown, not Italy, just Rome. I said, ladies and gentlemen, wake the fuck up. And they thought I was crazy. Robbie, that'll never <laughs> happen here. They thought you were nuts. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> thought I was fucking nuts. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So yep. now, 
Now what I'm telling you, heed my words, listen to me, because this is how, how, did, the, how, how did the Nazis take over in Germany? All right, they were a civilized society. Civilized people, they invented the jet engine, nuclear physics, okay? That's what kind of world we were in. That's what kind and of- they all came to- Yeah, how did the they- engineers they, how, all came to America. How did they convince <laughs> police to exterminate people? How did they convince ordinary citizens to uh, turn people into uh, the secret police? And you know, how did, they, how did they recruit the secret police and all that? So listen, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm gonna tell you right now is this is a very slippery slope that we're on and it absolutely can head in a direction like that. You're seeing hate everywhere. You're seeing destruction uh, in cities. In, we're civilians, ladies and gentlemen. What, is going, what the fuck is going on here? Listen to me right now. Listen to me right now. These white people that are bowing in front of Black Lives Matter, they will be the ones to drag you to the oven. Them, they're mindless, brainless, ladies yes. and gentlemen. I Them, wouldn't they doubt will it. do it. I wouldn't doubt it if 95%, besides the camera crews and the news agencies that are there working, I wouldn't doubt it that 98% of the people there are on assistance and haven't worked in, in 10 to 20 years. Are you talking about the kneelers or the... Yes, uh, Black All, Black yeah, anybody at the event, anybody at the event. It might be well, true. Let's, let's probably watch true. this. Let's yeah, watch this. Have real that ready. Quick. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I just need I need uh, some quick access from the host here. Yeah. How how do I do that for you? Uh, I don't see I a don't request know. or anything. Anywhere. There's no way any just, working uh, citizen shows up to that. Okay. And does stand that. by. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Uh, keep talking. You guys take right. it away. No, that's what I'm saying, uh, Mr. Anonymous. Go. You're in California. Your time's limited. Shoot. Well, I've got separate breaking news while Robbie and uh, Derek get the video transmission loaded. Okay. Uh, want your opinion, guys, here. Lindsey Graham, senator from South Carolina, head of the Senate Judiciary Committee. We're familiar. I've thought it's been a long uh, failure to defend President Trump. Seems like in a total establishment jerk. And yesterday, as we know, some hearings took place and they called him Lindsay 2.0. And Lindsay came out pretty hard against Rosenstein. And I forever thought Lindsay was compromised, which is why uh, he does the things he do, does. And today, the, the main trending item in the United States is a group of male sex workers exposing Lindsey Graham uh, for hiring male escorts. Now, is this a coincidence that the day this happens where he's testifying, the Democrats finally pull something at him? Oh, you're going to do that? We're going to uncompromise you. Just want your thoughts there because this is pretty big news for a quite well-established, powerful senator in the Republican Party. Well, Lindsey Graham is the most effeminate man in the Senate by far. Yeah. I, I, don't, um, think, I don't think it's a surprise that he's had a cock or two in his mouth. And yeah. I hate to say it because he, he has done some good things, but he's done some questionable things too. Well, I think it's so, just, you know, I don't have any problem with, with anybody. You know, if you're, if you're a gay man, that has nothing to do with me. I don't care. I think it's a shame. It, it's amazing sure, hypocrisy. It's amazing hypocrisy that the Democrats, the liberals who are always preaching tolerance are always the ones to attack people on things like sexuality. Less First, so, I don't think, I don't think it's look a at Caitlyn Jenner, the what same is, thing. Same thing. The, the news is reporting that his code, the news is reporting that his code name was Lady G L G for Lindsey Graham uh, with these sex workers. So I'm just wondering, any time a Republican or so tries to really speak out, they will be compromised. Uh, I see what you're saying. No, well, that's what I'm wondering. I mean, that's what I'm saying by no surprise. Absolutely. I'm not trying to be good. Good. I'm not trying well, to well do we do we even believe that this happened, or is this more more like Russiagate type stuff? You know, peeing on the bed, prostitutes peeing on the bed. Uh, exactly. I mean, come on. Now, do you really think but it's easy? Is, 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 go ahead. But either way, they're either way they're trying to smear him. I mean, but again, I just want to reiterate that I'm not saying that it's a bad thing that he's had a cock in his mouth if he has allegedly. I'm just saying I don't think it's a surprise. I mean, so, I. so what's the so what's the agenda here? I mean, because I, I feel like that has been pretty understood. It's even a pure it smear campaign. They actually, see the thing is right. the Democrats actually hate gay people. They preach. They, see, sure. they are liars. They're evil. They preach tolerance, but, but it's intolerance. It's oh, it's, okay. I don't want to get on too much of a tangent. Continue. No, doing. no, no. I'm just trying to understand what I mean. I, I know what's going on here, but what to to what extreme are they going to take it? I, I, Sorry. To your point, 
The I'll uh, bleep that. I mean, we got a time code on that one. Yeah, it's good. Right. Uh, guys, I, I think basically Nick. what we're trying to say is the Democrats use any minority person of color, yep. gays, whatever you name it, uh, they exploit it, they use it to their advantage, and they, they everybody's a victim to the Democratic Party when it comes to this stuff. And oh, they would like have no with power Floyd, without victims. Just like with Floyd. Yeah, just like Thank with you. Floyd. A- every single black person in the world is not working. They're all getting beat up by the cops. You know, that's what they try to mend. Al Sharpton comes out of the ground in an elevator. Okay, let's get to work. That's get hilarious. Get right on, yeah, spot cool. on. Well, they all well, come I out don't... of the elevators. Boom, boom, boom. Up here's Al Sharpton. Here's so and so. They haven't been elevators. around in a while. It's been a while. <laughs> they've been. It's been a while. Yeah, they've been well, quarantined. They've been, I, I haven't Doesn't seen matter them anymore. Since before 2016. Yeah, they're back. It's been four years, and now they're back because they think you know what it is. They think they're about to be back permanently, which is what we were all dealing with before. See, it ain't gonna happen. You ain't gonna be back think. like you used to be. Well, yeah. they don't think. Obviously, well, yeah. obviously. No, they don't. Obviously, okay. with what we're seeing recently. Yeah, it's uh, they never learn. That's for sure. Um, it's the same play, but they can't do anything else. They can't. They can only play out of one playbook because. <sighs> Their agenda is insidious and fundamentally evil. It's uh, anti-individual. We are not a Lie, colony of bees. Lie, steal, you know? cheat. Yeah. Lie, steal, and cheat. That's, That's the, the only way to achieve ways to those. Win. Those well. are the easiest ways to win. Lie, steal, cheat, play dirty. That's how – it's why the Clintons and all these people have been so powerful. Well, now Trump's in. And Trump's the type of guy, you smack him, he punches you. You hit him with a bat. Oh, yeah. He hits he hit hard. You with a steel, a, a bigger steel pipe. You pull out a knife, Trump pulls out a gun. You pull out a gun, Trump pulls out a tank. You pull out a tank, he sends in F 22s. You send in F 22s, he sends in something that you've never seen before. And people attacking Take him. Take it from away, the, from uh, the Mr. Moment. Anonymous. From the listen, from the moment people started attacking Trump on day one, when he when he before he even walked down that escalator, as they say, I thought it was hilarious. Anyone trying to attack him, everyone looks like dwarves next to him. I'm talking metaphorically. Oh yeah, Absolutely. yeah, no, yeah, you guys are spot on. Um, Robbie, what's your take on the economy today? We are seeing larger gains than we've seen in ten years. Um, um, what's going? Is it real? Are the job numbers real? We all want to hope it is because we know that's what's going to get Trump to re-election. But what is going on? Well, the job numbers are what they are. Are they real or not? I haven't uh, uh, delved too far into that. You know, who, how are those collected and whatnot? I just take those at face value. But um, the stock market or the economy, uh, when you hear about the economy, they're talking about the Dow Jones. That's what they mean on the news. So people can still be out of jobs, I think. Uh, I, I don't think the economy, as far as it's, uh, uh, as far as they talk about it on the news, really has too much of an impact on the individual. They may correlate, uh, uh, you know, often enough, but uh, they're just talking about the Dow Jones. You know, what does anyone know what that number is right now? I haven't looked at it in a while. Well, no, no, no. They're talking about the unemployment numbers right now that just came out, and the Dow Jones. But the unemployment right. numbers. Well, are they is referring to they that as the economy that spike? That's what caused the spike today on the Dow Jones. Well, day. see, but the, when they the say things, the claims look good. The I got to tell you, every time, good. every time they say something causes something in the stock market on the news, it's complete, total, utter bullshit. They have no idea what cause. It's crowd psychology is all it is. All it is is panic and greed. Various different expressions of panic and greed. That is how the stock market works. Uh, as a day trader, you can profit on that. You learn to you learn to study human behavior represented in a chart like that. But anyway, it, it, the uh, market news is hilarious to me. I just watch it. I, I have it on just so, you know, because it is news and it tells you about things going on in the world. And you can make your own inferences and how, speculate about what, yeah, uh, Rob, what you think is going to happen. We did. They could, if, if, if there was no news on, man, they would say the market is up on sunshine. They don't know what the fuck is going but on. But the jobs report today was better than expected. Okay. It was way better than expected. And if, is what they're saying. So regardless of the, um, which is spot on on the uh, on the market, but the jobs report was good today. Yeah, I'm not talking so about we that. Don't know. that. I don't really. Yeah, uh, I know I, that. Yeah. It was so good. Trump said he didn't even have words. Really? That's if unusual. You look at tr- 
because yeah. people aren't stopping working. And these every entrepreneur is cranking, no matter what happens. Well, I Whether hope so. Getting the check or not, entrepreneurs crank, business owners crank, without a doubt. I feel well, like. How much uh, of it did, go ahead, Twix. How much of it? Sorry, how much of it did you guys see? Because I thought it was pretty hilarious. Well, I shouldn't say hilarious, but I thought it was actually pretty brilliant when he he compared the coronavirus pandemic or alleged pandemic to a hurricane and how it affects an economy and how it is a dev it's devastating. Did you guys catch that? I did not. He, he, com he compared it to a hurricane. He said, this is, it's devastating. It's horrible. The economy breaks down, but you know what? You come back, you know, there's, it's a, it's a, it's a shorter comeback. He's like, I hate the D word, which is depression. He's like, I hate the D word. I don't want to use it because that could take 10, 12 years to recover from. He's like, no, this was a hurricane. A hurricane came in, but we're going to recover. We're going to bounce back quick. And I thought that was a pretty brilliant analogy. Yeah, it is pretty brilliant because, I mean, the devastation after a hurricane is, is phenomenal. I mean, where it actually makes landfall, where the eye passes over um, and beyond. You know, uh, Hurricane uh, Irma, I was down in the Keys for that. It looked like a war zone. I mean, a war zone. Okay, yeah. there was this one portion of uh, A1A uh, where you were driving down. There was this house on one side of the road, right? But it was very clearly supposed to be on the other side of the road. So that's, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's, what, yeah, that's what we're dealing with with a hurricane. And now I'm, you know, I, I, I guess the keys closed down for coronavirus, but everything was fine. You know, a couple a year or two went by. People get on with their lives. They rebuild. I mean, as a society, we move on. But we can't move on under the, under the boot of Uncle Sam. You know, we're under the boot right now. Agreed. So. Guys, um, some breaking news. No, it's not going to be a surprise to you. Um, I don't know how breaking it is because it's not a surprise. It's almost a daily occurrence. We've got thousands marching in the streets of New York right now. Thousands, so, huh? So that's with the coronavirus well, I, headquarters, though, isn't it? It's right behind me. It's right behind me, yeah. Coronavirus uh, probably, headquarters international? Wow. What about coronavirus? <laughs> Yeah, in the coronavirus headquarters, we have people flooding the streets, and de Blasio's letting it happen. Did you guys see de Blasio's daughter getting, getting checked <laughs> out? Uh... Did, you see, did you see her? Oh, I mean, I know she's God. a free spirit, but I think she was on some uh, major amphetamine. She major. might have even been on some acid. I've like never what? seen like a this? pair. Like yeah. this? No, nothing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're just on yeah. coffee, Twigs. Yeah, yeah, de Blasio's my daughter right looks here, to be also. about as uninformed as de Blasio. Cheers. They look to be about the, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree on this one. Huh? No, there, there's some <laughs> very, very troubling things going on in that home uh, based on, you know, what's, the, you know, you can't keep your 25-year-old daughter uh, to even support her own father. She'll look back on this one day when he does not get reelected or he might resign and he's long gone and she's unmarried and childless and uh, she's going to realize the pain she inflicted on her family. And, you know, she should, any true, you know, son or daughter should be protecting their father, in my opinion. Yeah, this is a uh, part of the uh, spiritual nature of all this. People don't realize uh, who they're going to be and how they're going to feel and what things are going to be like for them when they are older. Uh, you know, we hey are, guys. Yeah. May I have one moment? Yeah. Uh, just it's, FYI, it's, guys, it's, we are at five o'clock right now. Uh, we've. Okay. Well, real quick, it's at that point of the show, the economies, with everything coming at Trump to hit, to just take them and derail them. We get this good jobs report. I'm going to go ahead. This. I'm just going to go ahead and put this on with the jobs for the jobs report. My Trump hat. Very good. Uh, it's Trump time. We got a good jobs report in peril. In the middle, in the middle of a of burning peril, people are still finding work in the Trump. Yeah, economy. and that that goes to show you that nothing on the TV can be trusted. That is the telly screen. People should read 1984. 1984. Pardon me. It is the telly screen, folks. It's all it is. It is just pumping what they. It, it, it's it's programming you. Uh, here at the program, we deprogram you. Come get a new program. You know, we'll uh, we'll deprogram your government program. We'll get the that's a virus. That's yeah, the we'll, virus, ladies and gentlemen. You got a virus. It's called government. We will debug your brain. <laughs> yeah. 
and right. your home. Folks, I think, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be pumping these out all the time. Uh, people have things to do, uh, get ready for the riots and, you know, all the hellfire coming. So let's just. We are heading into the Punta Gorda Black Lives Matters. There's a chance if the rain doesn't cancel it that a couple of us will be boots on the ground. We'll keep you guys up to date on that. I'm the Victrix signing off in my bunker. Take it away to Mr. Anonymous to sign off. Get spiritually fit. Uh, make phone calls. Stay educated. You guys enjoy your weekend. We will be back. Twigs, Twigs final thoughts. Yeah. Hey, I mean, it's been fun. It's been real. If you're going to get down on your knees, only do it for, for, the, for the spirit that you pray for. That's all I got to say. Yep, ladies Wait, and gentlemen. Or, uh, Robert. Robert, uh, take us home. Let's, uh, everyone, you need to be kind to your neighbors. Uh, don't hurt people, okay? We can stop all this right now. You need to go back to your lives. The only way to stop all this is to go back to your lives. Live a normal life. Uh, don't go burn down the places that you go to for, uh, for, for food, for, 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 for normal life activities, for entertainment, for shopping. What are you going to come back to? What are you going to come back to? We have a wonderful society here. Uh, we can we can experience right now a rebirth like uh, the world has never seen before. Freedom, liberty. We're the liberators of the world. Let's not let it die. Folks, that's all I got. Let's, uh, let's stop with this lawlessness, this uh, inhumanity. Don't bow to anyone. You're an individual. You're important. You're all important. That's all. You're listening to the program.